We have been on the road now for over seven months. We traveled through nine states and visited seven national parks. That's a whole lot of wind, rain, and dust storms. And bird poop. <laughs> and bird poop, you're right about that. We decided it's about time to give Huckleberry a good roof cleaning, so. Here, honey, she's all yours. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>we needed to clean the roof of our RV. I reached out to Grand Designs customer service to find out what products they recommend for cleaning the roof. There's four products they recommended. Murphy's Oil or Murphy's Oil Soap, I believe it's called, Spick and Span, Simple Green, or Dawn Dish Detergent Soap. We also reached out to the RV community and to some forums and we posted the question, what products do you use to clean your roof? And again, the two most popular products are Simple Green and Dawn. So we decided since we're gonna go ahead and clean our roof, let's do a little scientific or unscientific experiment. We'll clean one half of the roof with Simple Green, the other half with Dawn. Then once we're all done, we'll go back and see if one side looks better than the other, or if one side was maybe easier to clean right. than the other. And we'll let you know, we'll let you know how it came out. The other thing we're going to do today is we're going to use a medium bristled brush. This brush we, we ordered online, I'll put a yeah. link below to where we ordered it from. Again, you don't want to use a brush that's too, too hard. You could actually, you know, damage the roof. And if you use one that's too, too soft, you're probably not going to clean it very well. So right. again, medium bristled brush. We'd love to have you join our RV community. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and ring the red bell. Please leave any comments or questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Let's get this roof clean. Get to it. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get started on the roof. We're going to get started on the front half of the roof with Simple Green. Now, one of the reasons for starting on the front half of the roof is our ladders in the back of the roof. And what I don't want to do is if I was to start in the back, work my way forwards. Now when I go to get off the roof, I have to walk over the clean roof and it's probably gonna be a little bit slippery and wet. So if we start from the front, work our way back. We'll be right by the ladder once we get done. Now a couple other words of caution is as you're cleaning and scrubbing, you're gonna be walking backwards on your roof. You have to watch where you're walking. There's a lot of things on these roofs. There's vents, there's AC covers, there's other covers, there's TV antennas. You don't wanna trip on any of those and fall off your roof. You're a good 12 feet off the ground. Another thing you want to be aware of is as you're cleaning and you're rinsing off your roof, make sure you also get the sides of your RV wet as well. Some of these products, they could leave streaks, or maybe even take the wax off your RV. So as you're cleaning your roof, wiping the, the product off the roof, also make sure you wipe the sides of your RV as well. Now the other thing we try to do, try to do this in small sections, like about maybe three foot square or four by four foot, or four foot square sections. So if you try to do too much at a time, you're gonna end up missing spots. So we do small sections, do them thoroughly, then we move on. You always gotta be careful walking backwards. I've already tripped a little bit. So just be aware of your surroundings, be aware of what's behind you. Now also as we, as we start rinsing off what we've already washed. If we missed any spots, they're pretty easy to see at this time, so we can always go back and hit any spots that we missed. So far, the simple green's working pretty well. I'm happy I got about the first 10 feet done. I'm happy the way it's coming out. Still a lot of scrubbing, but things are looking good so far.
I do like rinsing off quite often. We do a little small section and rinse off. And one of the reasons for that is with the chemicals, we're trying to, once they come off the roof and down the side, I really want to dilute those chemicals, dilute them. So there's a lot of water coming down the side of our RV as well. And hopefully nothing, those chemicals won't streak or leave marks on the RV. solar panel is pretty dirty as well. I really don't want to use simple green on it. I don't know if it'll hurt anything, but just to be safe, I'm just going to use the brush and water to clean off the top of our solar panel. So we're going to go up to the end of our solar panel. We'll stop using the simple green once we get to this end and then we'll switch over to Dawn. This will be a really good spot to, to switch over. When you're standing on the edge of your roof, you want to be very careful. Now that we got the roof halfway done, I'm gonna take the drone up in the air, try to get an aerial shot looking down, see if we can tell the difference. I think you can definitely tell the difference. Hopefully you can tell the difference from the front half of the RV to the second half or the back half of the RV. I can definitely see it from here. Now we'll bring the drone down, we'll switch over to Dawn dish soap and do the rest of the RV. Then we'll take the drone back up in the air and see if we can tell the difference between the two. Now the front half of the RV is complete. We put the simple green away. Now we're going to use Dawn, mix it with some water, do the back half of the RV and we'll give it a good comparison, our scientific test. While we're filling this bucket up, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we'd love it if you would. We're really trying to build an RV community. People just like you and ourselves, people want to learn about RVing, how to RV properly, how to take care of your roof and RV and things like that. And also we really want to share our adventures with you and we're really hoping our community will share your adventures with us. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Now we're also going to try to Clean, out, clean our brush off, we we'll get any simple green out of the bristles just to kind of start from scratch again. So that's what we're doing. Now we're at the point we'll start using some Dawn, see how it works. tired. Whew.
Oh, I need a break, but there's already a clear winner. I'm not gonna tell you which one yet, but from here, I can definitely tell there's a clear winner. It's definitely hard work. <sighs> I'm tired. It's been about an hour, hour and a half of scrubbing. We finished doing the roof and there was a definite hands down winner. But before we get into that, a couple things I want to remind you. That roof gets very slippery when you're up there. It caught me off guard a couple of times. I actually backed up into a couple of things after I warned you to watch where you're walking. I backed into a couple of things and almost tripped. And that could be very dangerous. So please be careful if you do happen to get up on your roof to clean it. Again, we started from the front. We worked our way back. As we went, we did a three by three or a four by four foot section and we'd hose it off and we'd try to hose off the side of the RV as well, just to keep any streaks off the RV. So once that was all done, we hosed the whole roof off one last time and we were good. Now getting back to our unscientific test, for us, Simple Green was the hands down winner. Hopefully you can see it in the video, but the front half is definitely wider than the back half, and I didn't have to scrub quite as hard. It was a lot easier for me uh, doing the front half than the back half. Now, maybe it's because I got tired as I was going along, but I don't think I had to scrub quite as hard. Now, Don did get all the heavy stuff off. I'm not complaining about it, but if you compare the two, I think Simple Green definitely did a better job. So we'll be using Simple Green in the future. If you use something other than these two products, let us know. Maybe we can do a test between one of your products and Simple Green and we'll compare those two. But remember, always live life to the fullest.